Right now on Apple Valley News Now at 5, emergency responders have been busy in both Benton and Franklin counties today responding to crashes. This one at a railroad crossing that sent a school into a soft lockdown. And a popular Richland restaurant is making a move to a new spot. We've got the scoop on what this means for its current location. Plus, it's a big day on this Giving Tuesday. Columbia Industries gets a boost from a Tri-Cities coffee shop chain. How they made it all happen. Well, grab your coat, your scarf, your gloves. Another cold, foggy night ahead. Plus, I'm tracking some major mountain snow coming our way later this week. It's all coming up in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. Our foggy, chilly weather is about to change, but we're talking about that timeline tonight in your first alert forecast. It's just been cold and foggy kind of all day today, Stacy. And I was seeing up in the hills as I was out filming, we were seeing some hoarfrost on the ground, just that fog everywhere in the air. When is this going to change? Well, at least to through Thursday, we have the air stagnation advisory in place for most of eastern Washington and Oregon, all the way down the Columbia River Gorge. Poor air quality, low visibility, plus we're encouraging no outdoor burning right now. And unless it's your only source of heat, don't burn those wood burning fireplaces or stoves during this time. The inversion is explained like this. Typically, warm air pushes the cold air up. That allows pollutants to get out of our environment. But right now, that is not the case. We've got um, the cool air down below trapped by this layer of warm air with a layer of cold air on top. So not only is it trapping the cold air, the fog and the clouds, it's also trapping pollutants in our area. So just be aware of that through Thursday. 31 right now, Legends Casino Skycam winds are light and our sunset today at 413. Temperatures tonight around the area. Once again, everybody below the freezing area. So patchy fog and freezing fog once again, that air stagnation affecting our air quality. Wet weather headed our way, even some rain mix possible for the lower elevations. And we're tracking some heavy duty weekend mountain snow coming up. I'll get to all those details in your first alert full weather forecast. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. A 14 year old boy has been arrested after authorities in Kennewick say he brought two loaded guns to Kamiakin High School. Officers with the Kennewick Police Department and Kamiakin School Resource Officer say they confronted the student after they were tipped off about the weapons. They say the boy was pulled out of his class. Security went through his backpack where they say they found two handguns with loaded magazines. The boy was taken to the Juvenile Justice Center on suspicion of possession of a dangerous weapon and unlawful possession. Emergency responders were sent out to Tapteal Loop today after a railroad crossing arm collapsed. According to one of the construction foremen at the scene, they say they saw a commercial vehicle hit the railroad property and take down the crossing arm. No word yet on if anyone was hurt, but we know at least one lane of traffic was closed and the entrance to Tapteal Loop was blocked until crews could clean that area up. In Franklin County this morning, a school bus, a semi, a pickup truck, and a car were involved in a crash on Taylor Flats Road. That happened just before 7 a.m., just east of Elm Road. Authorities say the school bus and the semi were involved in a minor crash, and there were children on board the school bus at the time, but no one was hurt. Two other vehicles then became involved in a separate crash due to speed at the original scene there. Authorities say there were minor injuries in that second crash. It took a little more than two hours for the road to be cleared. Work has officially begun on the I-182 and Broadmoor Boulevard interchange in Pasco. That means drivers can expect to face delays navigating the area, especially between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. while crews are on site. Contractor Nelson Construction out of Walla Walla has mobilized equipment as it begins the first phase of construction. The year-long project involves the creation of a new loop off-ramp from I-182 and a roundabout on Broadmoor Boulevard. It will also complete a north-south route for cyclists and pedestrians, and the city says it will clearly mark detours and alternative routes to minimize disruption. The 2023 November elections have officially been certified in several counties in our region. You can find all of the results on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Just go to the website, click on the elections results page you see at the top of the page. That'll take you to the results, which you can search for by county. We'll have a complete breakdown of those results later on this week. Now to an update on the legal battle involving the Pac-12. The Washington Supreme Court has sided with the University of Washington and the Pac-12 
and has put a hold on a previous ruling while the case is being appealed. So we've been covering this earlier this year. A ruling granted Washington State University and Oregon State University control of the Pac-12 conference as the two remaining schools. A Whitman County ruling then put a temporary restraining order in place to stop to, to stop the two schools from acting as the only active members of the board. UW asked the Washington Supreme Court to step in and an emergency stay was granted to keep that restraining order in place. Parties have until Thursday to file motions for the court to review. The community has recently been rallying around a Richland ice cream shop. Earlier this fall, the Amethyst Creamery on George Washington Way was broken into twice within a week. And just this week, the owner, Doug Tallman, put out a notice on social media saying the store would temporarily close while he takes care of his wife, who he says was in the hospital. Now, during the time while the shop was closed, more than a dozen businesses in the Tri-Cities, led by Tumbleweed's Mexican Flair, have started Amethyst Week, where some sales are headed straight to supporting the Amethyst Creamery. It really shows what our community is all about and uh, the call when the call for help is out there people show up and it just it says a lot about our community and what we care for and what our values are. Now over on our website applevalleynewsnow.com you can find a list of all of the businesses that have announced they're taking part in Amethyst Week from restaurants to construction companies, tattoo shops and even more. Valleywide Country Stores are holding a pet food donation drive this holiday season to support Meals on Wheels for Pets. This is a service offered by people for people to homebound seniors in Yakima County. Over the past five years, Valleywide has been able to collect at least six tons of pet food for the program. Company officials say it's a great way to help these seniors because for some of them, their pets might be their only companions during the holidays. We hear stories of them choosing between um, spending money on medication, food for themselves, or food for their pets. Uh, we feel like this is a great outlet to, to help ease some of that burden for them. So if you have donations, you can drop them off at stores in Zilla and Sunnyside, starting now at the Grandview store after the grand reopening there that is happening Saturday, December 9th. On this Giving Tuesday, Columbia Industries in Kennewick was on the receiving end of a donation from Dutch Bros. Local Dutch Bros coffee operators presented over $8,300 to Columbia Industries this afternoon. Those funds came from the company's Day of Giving back in October when $1 from every beverage was set aside for Columbia Industries. One of the major things here is helping a piece of the community that is in need that may not be getting the same assets that we all get. And we can kind of provide a platform for the community to rally around and help each individual piece of the community and here's another piece we get to help. But it helps fund our mission services so we're working directly with individuals with disabilities and other life barriers on employment opportunities, vocational training and then today we're standing in our community center so it's our center for social inclusion. It helps to fund all those things. This was the second year that Dutch Bros made a donation to Columbia Industries through its day of giving. Now to some of the stories making headlines around the world this evening in India after more than two weeks 41 workers who had been trapped in a collapsed tunnel under the Himalayas have now been rescued. Rescuers had to drill a hole in a mountain in order to provide an escape route, drilling through the last two meters of rock by hand. The crew became trapped November 12th after the tunnel with their only exit collapsed, blocking the area with more than 200 feet of broken rock, concrete and twisted metal. 41 ambulances lined up to take the workers to the hospital just as soon as they were free. The United States has now delivered more than 54,000 pounds of UN humanitarian supplies to the people of Gaza. The supplies include things like medical needs, warm clothing and food, and additional supplies are expected in the coming days. The International Committee of the Red Cross says it has successfully facilitated the release and transfer of 12 hostages freed by Hamas today. This includes 10 Israelis and two foreign nationals. Elon Musk has agreed to operate Starlink in Gaza, but only with Israel's approval. Israeli officials say the Starlink satellite units can only be operated in Israel with the approval of the Israeli Ministry of Communications. Now, Israel includes the Gaza Strip. In late October, Musk said that Starlink would support connectivity to internationally recognized aid organizations in Gaza. That's after the territory suffered a loss of internet service. 
Now let's talk about your local forecast. Taking a live look outside, we are once again seeing so much fog in the area. Stacy Lee is tracking that for us and a look at when you might see some changes coming up. And still ahead on Apple Valley News Now at 5, the Valley Mall in Union Gap getting into the holiday spirit, unveiling its Festival of Trees. Tonight we're talking about why each tree is significant in our communities when we come back. If you missed out on getting a McRib in the past, here's your chance to get one before you miss out again. The McRib returns. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Throw away your distance and reading glasses. Join Doctors King and Kopstein for a free live webinar December 7th at noon and find out if RLE is right for you. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. For 25 years, you have chosen Smart Law as your legal team. Times may change, but our commitment to you remains the same. We believe everyone has the right to exceptional legal representation. From all of us at Smart Law, we thank you for your trust and will continue to serve and fight for our clients and their loved ones. Smart Law. Smart choice. Hey, y'all, this ain't no turkey shootout going on at Legends Casino Hotel in November. It's a roping and a riding cash and car roundup where you could wrangle $10,000 in cash or win a new Volkswagen. Just steer your Legends Rewards card smack dab into your favorite slot machine to earn entries. And then giddy up on over to Legends Casino on Thursdays for your chance to snag 10 grand in cash or a VW Jetta on November 23rd or the Atlas Crossboard on November 30th. Round up the posse and we'll see you at Legends Casino Hotel. Tell and Topanish. Tonight, where the Hamas hostage negotiations stand, plus paying tribute to former First Lady Rosalind Carter, our team reports from Georgia. More Americans turn to the most watched program on television, World News Tonight with David Muir. Home design and remodeling can be overwhelming. At Premier Woodworks, we are with you throughout the entire project. Our in-house designers and project manager will help you design the space of your dreams. Whatever the size of project, Premier Woodworks will help maximize your space and turn your vision into reality. Visit our website, premierwoodworksllc.com, or stop by our newly remodeled showroom at 109 North Washington in downtown Kennewick. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. A shooting range in the forest. Fly the Northwest tonight. Welcome back. Today, the Valley Mall in Union Gap held a new holiday event called Festival of Trees. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us it was the mall's way of celebrating Giving Tuesday in style. The Valley Mall put out a call for local nonprofits that would be interested in a free opportunity to get donations from the community by creating unique holiday trees. Five organizations took them up on the offer, including Yakima Pride, Team Yakima Volleyball Club, Rod's House, Habitat for Humanity, and Wellness House. People who donated money to a nonprofit got entered into a raffle to win their special tree. The goal of the event, not just to raise money, but awareness as well. You know, we hear little bits and pieces um, around town, but to really get here and get to talk to them and find out what their mission is and who they are and who they support is so important. I was able to speak to each of the nonprofits, and coming up at six, we'll hear more from them about what they do and how you can help beyond Giving Tuesday. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Emily. Tumbleweeds Mexican Flair, a restaurant in Richland, has been serving up food since the year 2000. The restaurant has been working on expansions over the past year, with its food truck rolling out in March of this year. And most recently, Tumbleweeds has announced it's expanding into West Richland. The manager tells us the lease for the current building on Stevens Drive in Richland ends in one year, and they may or may not stay there pending negotiations. Earlier this month, the Chicken Shack Tri-Cities posted on Facebook that they were planning on moving out of their Van Giesen location in West Richland, and Tumbleweeds was moving in. The manager says this brings them another audience for the restaurant. Even though it's just right down the road, there's people, you know, from Benton City or Prosser that that's closer for them. And so they're very excited to have their opportunity at uh, being closer to a Tumbleweeds. 
Now he says the expansion does come with some changes. They'll have an updated menu, no more drive through and a patio space with potential for live music. Tumbleweeds gets the keys to the former Chicken Shack building on Friday, and the goal is to be open for customers at the start of February. Making headlines across America tonight, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden and President Biden joined every former living First Lady to commemorate the life of Rosalind Carter. The former First Lady is often remembered as the one who redefined the office. Ivan Rodriguez gives us another look at her incredible life. The remarkable life of Rosalind Carter celebrated. Former President Jimmy Carter, who is 99 and receiving hospice care, joining other U.S. presidents, past and present, for a memorial service Tuesday in honor of his late wife. Wife, mother, business manager, political strategist, diplomat, advocate, author. Yet what I remember most about her was her tireless dedication to taking care of others. Rosalind Carter left an indelible mark on the office of the First Lady. The first to take an office in the East Wing, she attended cabinet meetings, stood in for her husband on the campaign trail, embarked on diplomatic missions and advanced policy, remaking the role for everyone who followed. What we witnessed was a First Lady who saw her role as going well beyond the essential, warm and welcoming host. Together, she and her husband also revolutionized life after the White House devoting their time to innumerable humanitarian efforts, working tirelessly to advance human rights and world peace. Rosalind's compassion and empathy for those who are suffering was boundless. She the legacy of the trailblazing former first lady carried on through her children, grandchildren, and the countless others she touched throughout her extraordinary life. Because of Rosalind Carter, millions of lives are better off. What a gift she left. In Atlanta, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. We have a lot to tackle tonight in this First Alert full weather forecast. Let's first talk about air quality. And we've been seeing moderate air quality due to that inversion layer we've been stuck with. And uh, again, we have that uh, air stagnation advisory. And so we're seeing moderate air quality, not too bad, but it just continues to uh, stick around and linger. In fact, our air stagnation advisory will expire 11 o'clock on Thursday. And that's hopefully when we're going to start to see a shift in the weather. But right now, poor air quality in some areas, low visibility. We're asking people not to burn outdoors and limit your use of those wood burning stoves or those pellet stoves uh, in the area. It puts pollution in the air. So we've been seeing this fog kind of lingering, especially along the foothills of the Blues and in the Columbia Basin. Uh, we have differing uh, visibilities right now, but here's what's going on. That inversion layer near the foothills, this cold air swoops in and it gets trapped by the mountains. It's thicker, it's denser, and it stays close to the ground. So that's why we've been seeing that inversion layer really close to the Blue Mountains, the Walla Walla, Pendleton area, a little bit closer to the mountains there, and of course the inversion layer around our region. So that's going to continue at least through Thursday and that's when we'll start to see our first big change. 31 degrees, Legends Casino Skycam tonight. Feels like it's 31 in our sunset and early 4.13 p.m., so early in the day. Let's take a look at our temperatures for tonight. It's going to be chilly throughout the area. Look at these temps in the 20s. Uh, 31 overnight tonight, Tri-Cities, but again, everybody still below that freezing level. So fog and freezing fog, still a possibility, which means roads could be slick and bridges. Pay careful attention across the bridges. Here's our satellite and radar and there's a couple big systems you saw out on the coast. Those guys are getting ready to move in and that's going to bring us some very active weather going through the next couple of days. Tonight, pretty mellow, just the low clouds and fog. Uh, we move through the day tomorrow, pretty much the same overcast, chilly and gloomy, but we start to transition overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. Here comes some snow. We're showing some snow in the lower elevations. However, not expecting a huge accumulation. Pink is our rain mixed with snow, so active weather there moving into the Tri-Cities, more so in the form of rain showers, but we are going to see some snow here and we'll see heavy snow along the Cascade Crest and the upper elevations of the Cascade. Now, snow level is going to reduce down to around 2,000 feet, so that is past level. So we could see some travel impacts across I-90 uh, beginning Thursday morning, we'll say, into Thursday night for sure, all the way down into the Columbia Basin. Showers and active weather there, and we'll continue to see that pattern. Now, how much snow are we talking about? Let's take a 
look at what we're seeing on Friday. As of 11 a.m. Friday, we're talking about seven inches in the upper portion of the Cascades, about two and a half inches across Snoqualmie Pass, and maybe up to an inch accumulation in the Yakima area. Tri Cities, maybe a little skiff of it. However, we're going to start to see warmer temperatures. As we get into Saturday, check out these snow totals. We're talking maybe a couple of feet of snow possible in those upper elevations in the Cascade Mountains, and we're even seeing 12 inches, maybe a foot of snow here in the blue. So first big snowstorm just in time for the ski resorts. Those are getting ready to open up as we head into this first weekend of December. Tonight's temps, as we said, on the chilly side in the 20s around the area. Uh, and then taking a look at our temps for tomorrow, we'll see 20s and 30s. I've got your seven day planning forecast. That's coming up here before the end of the show. Alyssa. Thanks, Daisy. Columbia Basin College is getting some special recognition. We're talking about that when we come back with more Apple Valley News Now right after this. Smoke City for less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Don't wait. Get Black Friday prices all month long now at Mattress Depot USA. Plus, get 0% financing for five years or pay just $39 down and get 100 days same as cash. Mattress Depot USA. Roundups, like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a tip for me. Wait, a tip for shopping? Oh yeah, but how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean, whoa. <laughs> yeah, shopping's my superpower. <laughs> Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar, we're shaking things up. With the winter months approaching, it's that time of year to do what we can to provide the best holiday season to the little ones in our valley. From now to the end of the year, Pingree Ford will be collecting new and gently used coats for Coats for Kids, as well as new unwrapped toys for Toys for Tots. We're committed to the children in our community and we hope you can join us in our mission. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. Ooh, the DQ Cheeseburger Lover's Deal is back. Two single cheeseburgers for only five bucks or two double cheeseburgers for just seven bucks? For real? Oh, tell me it's as good as it looks. Deal this good speaks for itself, I guess. But you better get it before it's gone. DQ, happy tastes good. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high quality health insurance. We have plans with as low as $0 out of pocket premiums, a network of local doctors, and a rewards program for making healthy choices. Nice. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. So call us or go online now and better help on a mission for better. This holiday season, think big and shop small. Please support the small businesses in our community. It never hurts to shop local. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Welcome back. Columbia Basin College announced it's been named as a bellwether finalist and is competing in the 30th annual Community College Futures Assembly in San Antonio coming up in February. CBC is one of the 10 finalists in the instructional programs and services category, specifically for its work with the math department at the college. In four years, strides have been taken to revamp the developmental math sequence, placement procedures, and introduction of intrusive advising, all in order to make improvements in the rates of students who successfully complete college-level math. The biggest focus was on closing the equity gap between Hispanic and non-Hispanic students. All right, get ready for some mind-bending information. A supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy is spinning rapidly and it's altering space-time around it. So space-time, this is the hard part, is the four-dimensional continuum that describes how we see space. It fuses one-dimensional time and three-dimensional space together 
to represent the space fabric that curves in response to massive celestial bodies. The black hole is called Sagittarius A. A team of physicists observed it 26,000 light years from Earth using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory Telescope. Pretty cool. We'll have a final look at your forecast here on Earth when we come back. But first, here's what's coming up next on World News Tonight with David Muir. Coming up tonight, multiple pileups, the chain reaction crash across the Northeast, whiteout conditions from Ohio to New York, you'll see it. Hostages released tonight, the images coming in, but where are the Americans? And in the U.S., was the water supply in Pennsylvania targeted by Iran? Next. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. To see if you qualify for Hanford Worker Compensation, please call Smart Law for a free consultation at 1-877-630-1122. Workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses, including neurological, respiratory and heart conditions, cancers, and beryllium-related disorders. This may be an addition to compensation already being received. Call Smart Law at 1-877-630-1122. 1122 for Hanford Worker Compensation. Smart Law in Yakima and Tri Cities. At US Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here. Then give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. We're still going for that nice catch. We're still going for that sweet shot. And with higher stroke risk from AFib not caused by a heart valve problem, we're going for a better treatment than warfarin, Eliquis. Eliquis reduces stroke risk and has less major bleeding. Over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. Don't stop taking Eliquis without talking to your doctor as this may increase your risk of stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. It may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. The number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. We're going for it. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. Thursday night, it's the big finale of The Golden Bachelor. Make plans to be at Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar as Apple Valley News Now hosts the official Golden Bachelor watch party. Awesome food and drinks, plus enter to win great prizes as the first season of The Golden Bachelor wraps up. It's the official Golden Bachelor watch party, Thursday night at Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar in Columbia Center. From Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar, active for life, and Apple Valley News Now. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right, all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Welcome back. We're taking a final look at your forecast. Stacey, you've got the snowflake earrings on. Is that a sign of what's to come? It's serious when I wear the snowflake earring. But yes, <laughs> um, let's take a look at our seven-day planners here in the lower elevations. I told you about that substantial snowfall we're looking for. We're mm -hmm. two in the Cascades and Blues. But another foggy day, very chilly, freezing fog in the area for the next couple of days. Then we'll start to see that increase of showers coming through. And then overnight Thursday into Friday, look at those chilly temperatures. That's when we could see some snowflakes fall falling and some uh, rain mixed with snow, but we warm back up during the day enough to melt any accumulation. So it's not going to stick around the lower elevations, but look at that days and days and days in a row of precipitation in the wow. forecast. So this is going to be like one storm after the next after the next. So we'll see what comes over the Cascade Mountains. Let's take a look at Walla Walla and Hermiston fog, freezing fog, similar situation, mainly looking at rain showers with those temperatures getting above the freezing level on Thursday, Friday. Uh, but again, some uh, snowflakes possible and that freezing fog definitely nothing to play with out there on the roads not at all <laughs> thanks Stacy and thank you so much for watching 
World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We're back tonight at 6. And of course, you can find the latest anytime on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com.